Hello and welcome to another Inspiration Clan video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to work non-destructively by retouching on a new layer. Now I'm going to jump straight into Photoshop and we have this image of the car in autumn with all these leaves on the floor. Um, and what I'm going to do, just to give you guys an example, and this can be applied to, to any edit that you do, um, of doing it on a new layer so it's non-destructive is I'm gonna just do a clone stamp and remove some of these leaves um, but first I'm gonna do it destructively and then I'm gonna do it non-destructively so you can see the difference so I'm gonna jump straight in click on the clone stamp tool here and we've got our background layer selected and I'm just gonna hold down alt to sample an area and I'm just gonna click and drag over the leaves just to remove them there let's do another one here so there we go. So it's a successful edit and super quick. And if that's all you're looking to do, perfect. But that is a destructive way to work. We've affected those pixels. We cannot change that unless we undo all of those edits. So what I would advise doing, I'm just gonna undo this and return those leaves. What I would advise doing is performing all your edits on a new layer. Now, when anything's on a new layer, it's its own individual edit. You can go back in and change it. You can delete it. Um, it's a much more efficient way to work, especially when you have lots of layers and lots of edits um, all built up on top, of, on top of each other in the layer stack. So I'm going to come up this time to the clone stamp. And what I'm actually going to do is look at the settings up here in the tool op tools options bar. And we can see we've currently only got current layer selected so we can only perform that edit with a clone stamp tool on the current layer now I'm just going to click that drop down and you can either select all layers here or current and below so I'm going to select current and below and I'm just going to create a new layer by clicking the new layer icon down here and then what I'm going to do I'm going to perform that same edit but on this layer above the background so I'm going to hold down alt to sample an area click and drag do the same again with this leaf and remove this leaf so this time we can come over and the edit has been performed on this new layer so I can turn that off and the leaves are back in so that is a non-destructive way of working because if I turn that off uh, on sorry to remove the leaves and off we can see we have our background we have the original in in the document so you always want to whenever you're making an edit you don't want to affect the pixels of the original image in your document if it can be helped sometimes you have to um, but working in a non-destructive way like this on a new layer is a better workflow and you can do that in in various different situations when you're performing any adjustments so you've got all your adjustment layers down here um, always think about how you can edit that further down the line because as your photo manipulations or your compositions get more complicated there needs to be more refinement later on in the process and um, when you're just performing one edit like this admittedly it doesn't matter too much but when you're performing 50 100 edits in one image working non-destructively matters a lot so thank you very much for joining me in this tutorial i shall see you in the next one